R. Kelly uh, is likely going to remain in prison for the rest of his life, um, and so his music career is dead. But the money he makes from music is definitely not dead, and that money is now being tagged to go to his victims, whether he likes it or not. In fact, it's a lot of money, $500,000, just over $500,000, that will be garnished from his music royalties at uh, Universal Music Group. Um, he owed this money in restitution to, I don't know how many victims it is, but this is from one of his federal cases, the one where he is now currently doing time. He still has several other trials to face. So I have a question about this. Are people listening to his music still to yes. generate that kind of money? His old catalog is still generating that kind of money. I mean, that, and, and it goes to show, you know, look, really? there's certainly been a, huh. you know, the cancel R. Kelly movement and that you don't hear his music as often, certainly not on the radio, um, which is where it would make a lot of money. But clearly there are people buying his old music or streaming his old music. I'm surprised at this. Yeah. I'm really that, surprised. That there's that much that money. That kind of money, because that's not 50%. I don't. Well, we don't know how long that money was accumulated, but it was sitting there with Universal. Um, and I would have thought it would have gone to his lawyers at this point. And yeah. maybe, maybe they've already taken a cut. Maybe they and have taken a cut. I, I'm just surprised at the amount. There. Yeah. Hey, this is Danny from Buffalo. All I have to say about this is good. The victims deserve that money. And I guess you can feel better about streaming his music if you have, assuming that's where the money came from. But that's an interesting point, too. But they that, are. That there's an incentive now for people to listen to pay the victims. As long as it's, it's going to continue going to the victims. Right. Right.